You can buy these SD card to ID adapters and use SD cards as your hard drive for retro PCs, be it MS-DOS or Windows 98. We have looked at them in previous videos, but I bought a few faster SD cards, so we will check out the topic once again. Are SD cards usable and recommended for Windows 98? Looking at benchmark results and graphs, it doesn't really show you what's going on. So I came up with a new method. We are installing Windows 98. I've got a automated answer file, so everything installs automatically. And what this does is it reads and writes at the same time directly from the SD card. So it gets a good workout and it really shows uh, wider differences than by looking at just some benchmark results. I basically captured the entire installation process and then I cut the beginning and the end. There's a manual part where I have to accept the uh, license key and the terms and conditions. So I also cut that out. So we're getting frame accurate times between these storage devices. Our test system today is a Athlon 64. I've swapped out the processor with a faster model. It's the 3400 plus running at two gigahertz. We also have 256 megabytes of DDR RAM and I made sure that the DMA mode was enabled for all our storage tests. Let's have a look at the results for our ID hard drives. We have two models, one from IBM, the DeskStar with a capacity of 16 gigabytes and the other one is the Seagate Barracuda with 40 gigabytes. And looking at the results, the IBM DeskStar is quite slow. It takes 10 minutes and 38 to install Windows 98. In contrast, the Seagate Barracuda much, much faster. It benchmarks at six minutes and 53, and that is actually really fast. This just shows that a good mechanical hard drive can still uh, keep up in terms of performance, but reliability is the issue. A lot of these old hard drives start to fail. Uh, it has happened to me, so I'm very interested in using flash-based storage instead. Let's check out our first SD card. It's a Lexa with 16 gigabytes. And if you look at the labels here, this represents a very basic model, one you can pick up at the post office or the supermarket. And the benchmark time represents that. We're getting 11 minutes and 20, so that is quite slow. It's slower than our really old 16 gigabyte IBM hard drive. Now these SD cards, on the other hand, performed much better. They are rated at V30. Now this is for sequential reading. More important is the A1 or the A2 rating. That means these are rated for uh, being suitable to install applications and to use them in smartphones and tablets. The A2 rated SD cards, they command a little premium and it didn't make a difference in my testing. They require the host device to be aware of things like command queuing and other features, which of course our retro machine doesn't offer. So save your money, go for a SD card with an A1 rating, but let's have a look at the results. For the 32 gigabyte SD card, we're getting a time of seven minutes and 57 seconds. The 64 gigabyte model was a little bit slower, clocked in at eight minutes and nine seconds. And the fastest SD card is this one here from Silicon Power. This one uh, only took seven minutes and 32 seconds. Now, 32 and 64 gigabytes, I just uh, formatted them directly with the Windows 98 boot disk. The 256 model is a little bit too large, so I limited the capacity in the BIOS with the CHS values. I've done a video on that previously, and that allowed me to test large SD cards. And in general, the larger storage devices do perform a little bit better than smaller sizes. But for compatibility's sake, the smaller sizes are what I'm after. They just make my life easier with old computers. But how does that compare to SSDs? We have two models. This is an older SanDisk with 32 gigabytes. And this is a very modern Western Digital Blue with 500 gigabytes. And we're using a uh, adapter from SATA to IDE. These adapters are much faster than the SD card adapter. These top out at around 90 or so megabytes per second, whereas the SD card adapter has a, a limit of topping out at around 25 megabytes per second. So let's look at the times. The SanDisk 32 gigabyte SSD, six minutes and 
20 seconds, whereas the Western Digital Blue, 5 minutes and 55 seconds. So these two lead the pack. They are uh, the fastest devices when it comes to installing Windows 98. So we had a look at the benchmarks. Now, should you use SD cards for Windows 98? Well, there are two aspects to look at. The first one is performance. And we can see that if you pick up a fast SD card with an A1 or an A2 rating, then the performance is pretty decent. The right performance is definitely improved. And compared to the uh, more basic SD cards, you will get a much better experience. Now, a fast mechanical hard drive can still be faster. But if you're replacing like a 10 or a 15 or maybe a 20 gigabyte ID hard drive, I would say that these fast SD cards can be comparable in terms of performance. And you also get a better reliability, no noise, power draw and all those aspects. The other aspect is the topic of reliability, especially over time and if you're doing a lot of writing. And you might think SD cards and uh, SSDs are very similar, they're all flash based, but look at the size. These SD cards are tiny. There's not much space for a smart uh, controller with a lot of um, wear leveling algorithms and so on. So these are very simple and uh, yeah, they're basically best effort when it comes to writing that don't have any complicated algorithms that make sure that cells are not written too much, which you have with SSDs. And you could also see that with the ID to SATA adapter, we are not limited by 25 megabytes per second. We're getting around 90 and therefore much, much better performance. So my recommendation really depends on what you're actually doing with your retro PC. If you're mostly reading from the SD cards, then I can definitely recommend them. A uh, scenario would be you're using Windows 98 mostly because of FAT32 to have a huge partition for your MS-DOS games. In that case, SD cards can work really well. In DOS, there's no page file. The only times you're writing is maybe installing the games and uh, when you are writing for saving your uh, games, uh, save games, yeah. Another scenario could be using Windows 98 for networking and easier folder management, but mostly also as a DOS machine. Um, in that case, can also work really well. The uh, scenario where you're using it as a pure Windows 98 machine with a lot of games installed, that's where my recommendation is more towards the SSD. There are some options you can play around with in regards to the page file. Uh, you can try disabling it, but Windows becomes very unstable. If you do that, you can try using a RAM disk and use that as your page file. So there are some workarounds, but be aware that for uh, heavy duty Windows 98 with a lot of uh, reading and writing, you're probably better off with a SSD. So yeah, that's my recommendation. It does depend a little bit on your use case. It can work well with Windows 98, uh, especially in a situation where you do a lot of DOS gaming and you use Windows 98 mostly for the networking and folder management because it's easier. You can run a nice FTP client. That's what I do to copy files across and Windows 98 makes that very convenient. What I do like about the SD cards is the ability to get them in really small sizes, 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes. So they are compatible with old Viruses where the uh, hard drive detection might work if you put in a 128 gigabyte SD card, but then trying to format it in MS DOS, you get errors or Windows gets corrupted. So um, that's what I really like with these SD cards. You can get them in nice small sizes that are compatible with retro PCs. But for a high end Windows PC where you want more capacity, more performance, and better long term reliability. SSDs are the way to go. And uh, I have something planned in the future where I want to look at M SATA SSDs and also M.2 SSDs uh, and how we can use them with Windows 98. And yeah, we will look at benchmarks, how they compare with what we have here. And there you have it, guys. Let me know what do you think about using SD cards in your retro PC? And what storage solution do you use? What do you recommend? What are your experiences? What works? What doesn't work? Always eager to hear from you. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you found it interesting. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I shall see you soon with another one.